Hey there, I am talking back with some geek speak and breaking down some lingo about what we're on about when we throw this marketing design, all of this technology jargon at you. Um, and morning, we might have a cat visitor and hopefully the bird stays quiet. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully, um, because we're coming into springtime over here. We've just rolled into spring in Australia and the bird is getting new feathers. So she's just squawking a lot and welcome to my life. Two cats and bird and a lot of fish. It's crazy time. So let's get into this really quickly and jump into what we're talking about today. So today's is what is a landing page? So I do this with a lot of my clients and I'm like, like, so we just need to put up a landing page and they're like, aren't I getting a website? And they're not the same thing. So your website is a platform as a whole. So looking at pages and things and a progression to kind of establish yourself as an authority. Um, so I like to think that your website is kind of your home base. You need to have some kind of establishing presence that says, this is what I do. This is who I am. This is my backstory so that people can really dive into getting to know you really closely. And that's what we love to do with the authority website blueprint that we've set up. Um, so I've been mapping out these pages that everyone uses and how it looks and how that works. And it's been just building and building and building lots and lots of research, lots and lots of stuff going into it. Um, but it's not necessarily, it's kind of a basic kind of, uh, what would be the word would be kind of static, I guess would be one of the words that you'd use. So it's not overly, a changeable quick jump in thing so what I like to do along with doing your website is actually set up landing pages and a landing page is a page that is designed specifically for one purpose so where your home page on your website might tell people to go to your services to your about page to where you've been featured to your blog page that can get kind of distracting for someone who's looking for one specific thing. So you'll find that your homepage will actually water down your signups and things because it's not targeted to one specific function. Where a landing page, and I'm going to show you one that I've got here, and I'm hoping I can change it over. I should be able to. Yes, I can, awesome. All right, so this is one that I have here. And this one is actually running really well at the moment. Um, it's done really, really great things. So with this landing page, it's specifically to go into my ultimate coaching homepage book. Um, so it's a PDF that has what exactly what to include on your homepage and where and why. Um, and that goes in to saying, okay, this is what you're going to get here. But this page is actually structured in specifically for sending people just to download that PDF. So you've got your privacy and your terms and your disclaimer down here, which are required by Facebook advertising. So I do send paid ads. Hey, Lace. So I do send paid ads to this page. Um, so I've got a little bit of social proof down here um, and then these go straight into so this big giant pink button here actually goes straight into the sign up to go through and get this PDF in your inbox um, but this one page all of this stuff up here none of this is actually clickable like I've got my admin stuff but that's not visible to anyone else um, but it's actually tailored specifically just for this one purpose. Um, and if I can show you another one, let's see, they've got, I've put down this new plugin and it's got everything over the top of everything. 
So this is another one that we've done actually for Lacey, who's on live. And this is an ideal client workbook. So nice and easy, it's simple, it says what it is, it says what it does, has a preview of what you're going to get, and it is specifically for targeting people onto your mailing list. Now a landing page doesn't need to just be to get people on your mailing list. It can be a sales page, it can be a webinar registration, but the point is that it has one specific purpose rather than serving a whole magnitude of different things and getting people confused. So that's what we talk about when we talk about landing pages. And as you would know, that's included in all of our accelerator. So changing words and stuff around. Um, but we actually include landing pages, lead magnets, your whole funnel automation set up and running with all of our done for you services, which we are actually booked out of. We are booked solid for 2018. And that is in part thanks to having that landing page because we are actually getting people signed up and it's automating the process of people wanting to work with us because they're seeing what we do up front out there and all over it. So it's a great way. It's a the first baby funnel that we've put together for ourselves because we're too busy working on everyone else's. Um, so there's me and a couple of uh, part-timers now just to help with getting everything done. Um, but it's I spend a lot of time making funnels and automations for my clients, Lacey being one of them. And so this is just a baby one that we've done for ourselves and getting that up and running has really helped to actually get us to get me to the point that I'm booked out now three months in advance, which is an amazing feeling um, knowing that I've got that work there. I've got still leads coming in to work with me in 2019. So I know that I'm building in space in December for annual leave and making sure that I've got that time to take some time off and recharge and rejuvenate. But knowing that I've actually got clients who are waiting for me to open my books back up for 2019. And part of that is actually using this landing page and using the formula that I put together, using that to actually build the whole basis for my online business as well. And I would love to help you do that. So if you are ready to rock 2019 and you are ready for it to be the best year ever in your business and you are terrified of doing it all yourself and touching all the tech and knowing where to start, feel free to comment below or shoot me a message to the page. I'm always happy to have a chat and we can work out exactly what that formula looks like for you and how we can get you booked out without losing your sanity. So there you have it. I'm coming back tomorrow with another um, check tip and working through another page that we're talking about or another term that we're talking about more so. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Have a wonderful afternoon and enjoy the sunshine.